All right, guys, today on what to do, we are going to be focusing on a clutch drum. This is the piece that is inside of the hub, which looks like this on your weed whacker. This particular weed whacker is a Red Max, but the same might be for some other models. Now, if you're finding that you put your weed whacker shaft in, and when you give it throttle, you're hearing like a grinding noise, a lot of the times it's inside of this hub, it's your clutch drum. Inside of here is where your shaft slides in and there's teeth in there and eventually these wear and the shaft just spins around in there. Also, these sometimes can get locked up and seized up and they're not spinning anymore. Um, so you would have to replace that rather than buy this whole hub assembly, which is a lot more money. Um, uh, uh, other reasons why your shaft would not be spinning would be because of the clutch, but this we're not covering in uh, this episode. If you want to search my video channels, I do show you how to replace this clutch. But this clutch is what this slides over top of. We are changing this today, and I'm going to show you how to do it. I got the old hub off, and basically, I don't know how well we can see it in there, and we might not be able to see it until I get this one out. But it's all rounded out in there. Okay, there's no teeth left, so when we put a new shaft in there, it's just making a loud grinding noise because the shaft is just spinning in there. So what we need to do is replace it with this one where you can see the teeth right there. All right, and how to do that is actually quite simple. So we want to remove this bracket here. Depending on your weed whacker, you would have this type of bracket, but on the Red Max it does. Now this is a two-piece assembly and basically it pushes up in there. So you want to try to take this piece out here, like so. And then you're going to have this rubber grommet here. Um, it's probably best to get a flathead screwdriver. Um, that's what we're going to do, and we're going to stick it down in there. Stick it up in there and push down, and kind of pry that out, and do the same thing to the other side. pull out just like that now you have a lot more room to get in there essentially what we're looking at here I don't know if you can see it in this camera or not there is a c-clip in there which looks like that that's what it's gonna look like and you're gonna need a special tool to actually separate that um, we can't really see it in there there's a lot of a lot of oil in there there it is I can kind of see it so we need to get that clip out of there. They have a, a wide variety of different tools you can get for those. Um, probably going to want to go with these. They're a lot longer and narrower to get in that small spot so we can separate that clip. I am actually going to uh, clean this out a little bit first so I can kind of see the clip a little better. Now you can kind of see our clip a little bit better there. And uh, you can actually see the teeth on that hub too. Now there's no teeth left. It's all rounded out. So let's get that uh, let's get that clip editor. We're gonna take our snap ring pliers here, and uh, well, it's gonna be hard to film going in here, but uh, got it on there. We're gonna pry up. There it is, right there. And then we just dropped it. There's our snap ring. All right, now we should be able to. Um, tap this out and uh, being that I don't need to save this I'm just gonna get a punch and a hammer and we're gonna tap this out of there so I'm gonna take my punch and I'm just gonna set it on the clutch drum there and we're gonna tap And there it is. It's out. That's the old one there. Now, there is also a little, you can see this little bearing in here. Um, if you want to take that out to replace yours, because sometimes these will get seized up, and that could be a problem too. Um, so definitely make sure yours is spinning. It doesn't feel like it's spinning and then locking up and then spinning and then locking up. Make sure it's working uh, freely mine seems to be fine, but if you wanted to take it out you can see there is another snap uh, snap ring there You can take that out 
and then pretty much you can take your punch again and punch that out and put your new one in. Um, I don't need to take it out, mine's good. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with putting this back in. If you look on the new one, you can see that, that line there where your snap ring goes, um, in case you needed to know that. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this upside down and we are gonna set this back in there like so. So what I'm going to do is take this punch and I'm actually going to put it right, you don't want to put it on the sides because this is pretty thin. You can bend it. Go right into the center of it. Make sure it's just covering the center and not hitting any of this part. So put it on the center and we're going to tap down with this. And there it is. Make sure it's spinning freely. And now you can go ahead and put your snap ring back in just like that and then we're going to lower it down in there I know it's hard for you guys to see and if it doesn't come off of the pliers because sometimes they get stuck on the pliers just take a flathead to hold the snap ring down while you pull up there you go and then just kind of tap on it to make sure it seats in that line that I showed you. And there it is. You can see the snap ring in there. It's seated. And we are done. And that is how you change the clutch drum on a weed whacker. Hopefully this helped somebody out. If it did, please hit subscribe below. Give me a thumbs up, guys. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll see you next time.